Hello and welcome to vlog number 159. There has recently been news of another successful trial of an existing drug that is a candidate for repurposing as a treatment for Parkinson's disease. Ambroxol is a drug that was discovered over 50 years ago and has been used as an active ingredient in cough syrup since the 1970s. It has been the subject of a recent clinical trial at University College London, the results of which have now been published. There is evidence that suggests that unwanted proteins and cellular waste products accumulate in the nerve cells of people with PD, such as the toxic misfolded alpha-synuclein protein that is a characteristic of Parkinson's. Research shows that Ambroxol increases levels of a protein in nerve cells called glucoserobrosidase, or GCAs. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, then you'll just have to forgive me. GCAs help cells to clear out these waste products more effectively. GCAs is important in Parkinson's because a significant number of people with PD have a genetic error in the region of a gene known as GBA. Variations in the GBA gene have been shown to impact a person's risk of developing Parkinson's and this gene also contains the recipe for the production of GCAs. The clinical trial was not double blinded or placebo controlled so the results showing improvements in the participants must be viewed with caution especially since the purpose of this trial was not to evaluate disease progression or modification. However, it was noted that the treatment improved motor features associated with PD in patients both with and without GBA mutations. The purpose of the trial was to establish the safety and tolerability of Ambroxol, its ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and the extent to which it increased GCA's activity, and in that respect it was successful. Boosting GCA's levels in cerebrospinal fluid by around 35%, and causing no adverse effects to the study participants. Now that this has been established, further trials will be required to see if Ambroxol can slow the progression of Parkinson's. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.